CPU, DPU, MPU, GPU, bunch of acronyms. Can you give us like sort of an idea what, what those actually mean? So, so obviously they're all processing units. That's yep. the, the, the end part of that, that statement. But they all have various levels of either uh, programmability or, or performance. So think of CPUs. We all have CPUs in all of our laptops and yep. PCs. Um, reasonable performance, extremely programmable, okay. but not really that great for forwarding and stuff like that. We used to use them for forwarding engines 20 years ago, but yep. we need we need big chips to do that now. Um, as you kind of step up the stack, I think a lot of people know what GPUs yep. are. Games. Gaming, crypto, or whatever you're using yep. them for today. And then obviously for all the AI work that we're doing for training big big LLMs. NPUs are what we use for forwarding on, on routers and switches. An NPU is the same thing as, a, as an ASIC. It's a a big chip that we build. The difference with an NPU is it's, it's programmable. A lot of the ASICs that we built were fixed in terms of what they could do. NPUs have a programmable portion to where we can write code and make them do cool things over time. DPUs are kind of new. DPUs are actually what are used in smart NICs. Okay. Um, and so it's kind of halfway between a CPU and an NPU. It's kind of programmable and it's kind of fast. And so we can use these to accelerate certain services that we need higher throughput and performance than a CPU, but we can't actually fit that level of programmability into an NPU. So we use them for smart NICs, and then we now use them for these smart switches that we built. The newer switches from Cisco have a DPU in. I'm assuming it's got a CPU. Yes. Does it have MPU, GPU, or what's inside yeah, that switch? Yeah, so, so CPU is what we run the network operating system on. So that's where your iOS or XR or NXOS in this case runs. Um, the NPU is where we do all the switch features and functions, so the forwarding capabilities of the device. And then the DPUs are this new aspect of a smart switch. The DPU is where we do service acceleration. So we run uh, security technologies, we run something called HyperShield, where we can actually inspect and do things that we can't actually do in the NPU itself. But I can't do crypto with a GPU on a Cisco switch. Uh, so the interesting thing about a DPU is we can actually start to add things like IPsec into ASICs that were never meant to do IPsec. So it, it will use it to accelerate and build new services on top of the switches.